Picture yourself finding the love of your life and wanting to start a family. You go to an adoption agency willing to give a child the life that they never got to have. But the agency rejects your request because of the person you are married to. For LGBTQ plus couples, well, this is a painful reality to most people who are discriminated and unable to adopt children because of the person they are married to. This is unacceptable. I'm going to be persuading you what a LGBTQ couple should have the right to adopt children by explaining how it will increase in adoption rates and how LGBTQ couples are committed to raising more understanding and accepting children, although it may stray away from some religious beliefs. Yes. How Most straight couples prefer to have their own children, leading to an adoption shortage. According to the Children's Bureau Trends in Foster Care and Adoption Reports, in 2008, there were 130,000 children waiting to be adopted. 130,000. 130,000 children who are unable to have the life that all other children strive to have. Unable to have a family, unable to have a home of their own. Unable to have all the care of parents. Can, re exist, can lead to bad child development and can lead to a life of depression and anxiety. But lucky for the adoption agencies, LGBT couples are more likely to adopt children because most LGBTQ couples have the same sex and are unable to reproduce and have children. So if the adoption agencies were willing to give LGBT couples the chance to adopt a child, then the adoption rates will really, really sky rise up until maybe one day we wouldn't have to look for years for someone to have a family. LGBTQ couples tend to be very stable and committed to raising children. Some people might believe that being in a homosexual environment comes with a lot of bias and depression, but that's not the case. An associate professor, Dr. Stephen er Erich, did a study on multiple homes with LGBTQ plus families. He found that the children are doing well and that the parents were able to sustain effective support networks. So as you can see, LGBTQ couples are more than able to raise children as much as heterosexual couples. Also, so, psychologist Abby Goldberg states that LGBTQ parents tend to be more motivated and more committed than homosexual parents on, it, on adoption because they chose to be parents. It's a lot of responsibility to be a parent and LGBTQ couples really are determined to raise children. And also, being in a non-judgmental environment will allow children to be more accepting of others for who they are. Being in an environment where two parents probably face a lot of discrimination and bias themselves, they will pass down their experiences and understand things of what not to do to others and how to be non-judgmental to their own kids, which will lead to their kids being more understanding and non-judgmental of others, hopefully bringing our new generation to a point of acceptance and love. Now, I understand that some people believe LGBT couples should not be allowed to adopt because it goes against some people's religious beliefs, and people should have the right to turn LGBTQ couples away because of the freedom of religion and the amendment of the Bill of Rights in the United States Constitution. And I hope you understand now that increasing rates of adoption and the commitment that LGBTQ plus parents have to raising, understanding and accepting children is why LGBTQ plus couples should be allowed to adopt them, despite religious beliefs. All children should have the right to be in a loving, accepting environment. They will grow to become respectful people themselves, no matter who takes care of them.